Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys are new here, and we are currently on vacation mode. It is actually Tuesday. I flew into um, Rosemary Beach area, Panama City, I guess was the airport I flew into um, this morning, and I've just been chilling with my dad, and then I had some solo time at the beach, which I was kind of sad about because I obviously hate being alone, but it was so relaxing. I took a floaty out there and I just like let go of all of my thoughts, which absolutely never happens. So I definitely need to do that more often. <laughs> now I'm all dressed up for dinner and I am blinged out in accessories right now. I feel like I always forget to put on jewelry, number one, and then number two, I just never know how to like accessorize it all or if it looks too much. But obviously since I'm showing so much skin, I thought I would just go ham. So I have like all of these necklaces. Um, bracelets. This watch is from Amazon. I can't remember where all of my rings are from, but this is like one of my favorite rings right now. It's from my friend Pia's um, collection with Every Jewels, I believe. Is it focusing? I can't tell. There you go. Don't mind my nasty nails. Literally two days ago, they were so nice and long and they were my natural nails, but one chipped and then I bit them all off, which I feel like I never bite my nails. As a kid, I did used to be a huge nail biter. Um, anyways, I bought press-ons, so I'm gonna apply them like probably two days from now because the reason I'm actually here at the beach is for a bachelorette party which starts on Thursday. So I just really need my nails done for like three days. We are staying in the nicest freaking house in Alice Beach, which I've never stayed like, you know, in the area. So I'm very excited for that. And obviously just relaxing in the sun because this is probably like the last couple of times that I'll get to swim this summer. Hopefully Austin's still warm for a while, but we'll see because the temperatures are dropping every day. This is my current view right now. It is so serene out here. It's so quiet. I mean, you can barely hear the people down at the beach, but let me walk you guys out to the little dock. The colors are a little washed out on this camera. I'm actually using one of my old cameras. I usually vlog with my Sony a7 IV, but I'm using my Sony A5100 because it is way tinier than carrying around the chunky camera and I feel like if I have a little camera, I will vlog more. So hopefully I will keep up with it. Here's my full outfit of the night. Like I feel like I'm gonna fall down the stairs. Best thing about it is that it has pockets. <laughs> Makeup is off. I did my Luna oil, literally a holy grail in my skin routine, and I'm in my comfies, which feels so good. When we got home, I literally thought it was 10:30. I was ready to go in bed, but it was 8:30. It's like what the frick? And I'm kind of sad because that means the sun is setting earlier. But I guess it's kind of different because in Austin, that's like in the middle of the United States, that's Central Time, and it's also Central Time here where I am, and that's all the way over there. So it's like sun setting, I don't know, maybe like before seven here. And then like in Texas, it's still setting like way after seven. But that just means 5 p.m. sunsets are this much closer. So not very excited about that. I'm gonna get in bed. I can't remember if this TV can like cast my YouTube videos from my phone. I'm gonna try that. If not, I'll just probably watch TikToks and go to bed. My dad said he goes on really early morning walks and I was like, I'll come with because I feel like I wanna, you know, get up and get the day going. So we'll see if I actually get up for that. not a rainy day here but it's a very cloudy and almost like cold day here it was such a beautiful morning so i really didn't think that the 10 percent of rain would like 
make it this cloudy but it's okay because i feel like i have a very cozy setup i'm doing a little bit of work just editing a youtube video and i turn the lamp on and like close the blinds um but we're gonna go to cvs because i realized i didn't have any body wash and i forgot body lotion after my showers i really marinate in oil so we definitely need to get that i forgot to vlog but i literally just got like whatever was the cheapest because I'm just gonna use it for a couple of days. It's time to come out of the cave. We are gonna go on a little bike ride. It's, I think, four or something, maybe five o'clock. It was pretty chilly this morning. I might break a sweatshirt, but also I don't really wanna get too sweaty because I already showered. This is your the thing, your accelerator. Your yeah. And then you just switch gears. Yeah. One. Oh, daddy. Oh my god. You like that? <laughs> One, so you can keep increasing this, okay? Like what? The, the you want to, and then this is for your gears. Okay. Got it. Got it. Ready for dinner, we're going to a sushi restaurant. I'm so excited. My dad loves this place that I've yet to try it out. It's called Aja and it's from, I think an owner at Umi Atlanta, which is like our favorite sushi restaurant in Atlanta. So I just already know it's gonna be good, but let me show you guys my outfit. I have on my skirt from Dish. My tank top, halter top is also from Dish. This cardigan is from J. Crew, and I'm obsessed with it. It's new to my wardrobe, but I love it. I'm just wearing my Steve Madden sandals and then I'm just gonna do this bag. I actually only brought one purse, so let's just hope this goes with everything. I brought a little green duck all the way from Austin because we got it in a drink at the bar, and I thought I would bring it to my dad's Jeep because the last time we drove it, we got ducked, so... day three here and I've just been kind of trying to wrap up on work for the week. I've had a lot of emails come through and just some things that I've been pushing off to the last minute. So trying to get that all done, I honestly just work better under pressure, which is so bad. I just tried to like pack up my suitcase a little bit more because we are actually staying in Alice Beach for this bachelorette party. I'm so excited to see the house and meet the girls and see my friend Claire. Um, I got her lingerie packed up right here. The last thing I have to do before I go is do these press on and I'm so happy that I have extra time to do them because at first they were saying check-in is at 12. It's currently at 11.39 and I like just got done with everything but a lot of the girls I'm guessing are from Georgia because I met Claire in Georgia and they're driving down and their ETA is only like 12 45 1. I still have like a lot of editing that I want to get done because I know once I'm there I will want to be like more present and not on my phone so I'll want to have like TikToks ready to go but this is number one priority for right now because the nails are looking absolutely horrible so let's go do these press-ons. These are what I'm working with. I didn't love the shape and I'm really hoping they fit like this has my nails but I'm just gonna file them down a bunch. We got this hand on and I just realized that I should have brought like nail clippers because it's gonna take literally forever to file it. It took so long to file this one. I guess it's not in focus, but oh, uh, they're so long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and ask my dad if he has nail clippers. It really did take forever, but here they are. They're actually really long for me. I used to have pretty long nails, but now I am definitely a short nail girly, but if I get really annoyed with them, I guess I could file them a little bit more, but I don't really have much time to, so we're just gonna roll with it. I still have to pack up a little bit, but then we're gonna head out and go meet the girls at the house. Here's my bathroom for the weekend. Jeez, guys, this is huge. I was honestly not expecting so much space, but this is gonna be so nice for getting ready. And then this is the bedroom. I love this little vanity section. I also love that there's no space that doesn't have like just a little bit of storage. And then we come out and there's a little kitchenette. Yeah, so just do it like, let's just come. So funny. Yeah, yeah. 
the balloon arch is coming along, but it's not done yet. Yes, go up here. Okay. Okay. He's so cute. We'll use some of the sticky dots to hold the string up, and then we'll use some of the sticky dots to stick it each to the wall. Perfect, yeah. Calls me Sona because that was my name in high school, but I'm telling everyone my name's Sonali. <laughs> We're getting a little house tour. This is really cute. Sonali. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. So nice. Wow. You do. Yes. Yeah, these doors are so annoying. They beep like that. It's so bad when they're open. We have a little kitchenette. How freaking cute. Okay, cool. We'll be around that side. Okay, we're going to the Kaliza pool. I've never actually seen what it looks like inside but we have access we got the keys oh who has their keys oh nice there we go oh not this not, one <laughs> yeah not that one yeah nice oh. they have this cool little lap pool here it's so stunning oh my god claire look at this We have a speech bonfire set up. Yum. two of the bachelorette party um it is 7 30 maybe oh almost eight but we have to leave by 8 45 to get on the boat i am so excited about today because it's something i used to do pretty much every year for spring break and that's doing a boat day to go to crap island and this place is actually in destin where i used to stay and i'm so excited because i'll be able to live my mermaid dreams um two of the girls are at Publix and they actually grabbed me some goggles so that makes me even more excited i brought the big daddy lens because i wanted to take some like really nice photos this weekend so i'm just uploading them all right here i'm gonna try to edit these really really quick and hopefully get them up before we can go because i want to post on social media here's the outfit of the day my bathing suit is from amazon and then my skirt is also from amazon and i'm just trying to pack up everything i'm gonna need towel sunscreen oh my god my hair is so naughty it's only gonna get worse god wait <laughs> no what is this day two with our bride my gosh it's like very big like i, I didn't expect it to be okay I feel like it's wait just get your bangs and like yeah like that perfect yeah we're taking pics and then heading to the boat making a little pit stop <laughs> i'm feeling a little rough but <laughs> i'm gonna just start drinking again start rallying again <laughs> Let's eat some Chick-fil-A mini Chick-fil-A. Guys, this is the fastest Chick-fil-A I've ever experienced. Yeah. And we love them for that because we <laughs> didn't have much time. Naked. Yeah, no, literally. <laughs> 
I would not go in naked. <laughs> This arrow, that arrow is pointing into the wind. Okay. You point wherever that arrow says. So, like if we're pointed here right now, okay. see the arrow? Arrow's pointing that way to the left. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm gonna go over to the left. Okay. That shit's good. Yeah, you're right. There you go. Let's go. At Kaliza, we have access to this pool. We got free waters. Cheers. Hydrating. <laughs> oh, benefit. Naked, urban decay naked. My mom gave it to me. Ooh. And I've had it for years. <laughs> so, and it's like, look how much is in it. It's like you don't wear a lot of highlights. Oh, yeah, you? for sure. I'm the bride, Claire. Uh, my dress is from Mango. My shoes are from Zara. My purse is from Zara. Show the purse. My earrings are from Raval. Cute. Purse. Love. Um, that's it. Hi, Thanks. I'm Cassie. I'm Maid of Honor. My dress is from Zafol. My shoes are from Amazon. Ooh. Um, and the earrings are also Amazon. I'm Barry. Dress is from a boutique called Cheeky Peach. Shoes are Dolce Vita. Yo. Purse, Louboutin. And earrings. And earrings <laughs> are from a boutique in the south i don't really know <laughs> megan's voice is gone my dress is abercrombie my shoes are dolce vita and my earrings are altered state i'm natalie my dress is my co-workers it's from zara this is from amazon my earrings are from revolve and my shoes are from asos her shoes are so cute love you better send me those you don't get those for free <laughs> hi i'm kylie my dress is from vici my shoes are asos earrings are amazon rings are amazon I think necklaces are from Electric Picks. Oh, cute. I'm Anna, my dress is free people. My shoes are, I think, Amazon, and I don't know about the other shoes. I'm Sonali, and my dress is rented on Rent the Runway. I'm not really sure what the brand is. My sandals are Steve Madden, and earrings are Amazon. Necklace is um, made well. And I'm just carrying my little lemon thing because I didn't have a small purse for the bars, so let's go. <laughs> my ring, Amazon. <laughs> She actually got like a fake diamond ring on Amazon and it's so good. <laughs> you may be wondering where the heck do you even go out in this beach town? And I'm going to tell you because tonight was the night that we were going out. But first we went to Seaside to go to Bud and Alley's for dinner. We got a few apps and entrees to share. We didn't want to feel too heavy because we were going to AJ's. And honestly, I feel like this might be you know one of the only bars that i know of that you really like go out out here i know old florida fish house had like a live singer the last time i was there and it looked pretty lit but i feel like that crowd was definitely older when we walked in they were playing throwback music and it was such a vibe but then this band came on which they were not horrible they were actually playing you know the popular songs but honestly i feel like we all would have preferred if the dj stayed on it was still such a fun night they do have cover at least this night it was ten dollars so it wasn't too bad also it is kind of hard getting ubers and lifts just around this area especially seaside because i feel like the service is not that great i believe the bar closes at 1 a.m so i highly recommend calling your uber a little bit before just to avoid any surge prices we got home i took my makeup off got into my jammies and we got claire's cake out um this was number one a stunning cake but also a delicious cake and claire went straight to bed checking in for day three of claire's bachelorette everyone's feeling <laughs> a little unwell honestly I don't feel horrible, which is amazing. I think I just feel like more tired than anything, but we literally got home like super late and went to bed super late. <laughs> but we're gonna go grab some breakfast. My hair is like having a mind of its own today. Um, and get the day started because we're actually gonna do a yoga class right after. And then hopefully I'll get to swim at the beach. If not, pool. We had a full itinerary this day, but we definitely didn't stick to it because when we were at 
brunch at Canopy Road Cafe, we decided that we should probably cancel our yoga class and just do a beach and pool day, which honestly I wasn't mad at because I wanted to get in as much swimming as I could. We went over to the beach and this day could not have been more perfect. At this beach club access, they have towels that you can use and borrow while you're at the beach. And at the pool club, which is where we went after this, we just went back to that Caliza pool. I ended up just getting a pina colada virgin because I just think it tastes better. Cove clip. <laughs> Hashtag influencing. <laughs> They're so good though. She's a co-girl. Ooh. <laughs> we had an early reservation at Pescado. If you are trying to make reservations in this area, do it months in advance. I swear everything books up so quickly. We just did drinks here because we had a whole dinner set up at the house, but half of us got mocktails because at this point we were so over drinking. You have to keep drinking like you said, remember? <laughs> We headed back to the house. I grabbed my camera really quick so we could take some photos during golden hour and it was just so pretty outside. And then we came home to this absolutely gorgeous dream dinner set up in a rental. They ordered a ton of rolls from Shaka Sushi. They also had gluten-free options and they provided us with this cute little board to make it more aesthetic. We had to give it back at the end of the night. But it was so nice to eat at home in our PJs. And then after dinner, we just played some bachelorette games and called it a night. Morning, it's my last day here. I actually fly out tomorrow morning really early, but all of the girls are going back to Georgia and driving back around like, like maybe in an hour or two um but i just packed up my room it was like a little easier than i thought so i'm like mm, am i forgetting anything i hate that feeling i'm actually checking in for my flight right now let's see what letter we get on southwest it's a really early morning flight so i doubt b35 dang <laughs> i thought i was gonna get a again because i got it on the way here but i'm actually going to see my aunt this morning literally in 15 minutes i'm just walking down the street to meet her at holiday cafe which i love <laughs> their ham cheese um croissant sandwich i really hope they have them because i've been dying to get them since the last time we came here she is actually also staying in alice beach but like on the other side and she has the cutest freaking baby so i hope she brings her we're just gonna meet for a quick little coffee chat and then I'm gonna come back here, get my stuff, and then the bride and I are probably just gonna go shopping around the town because there's so many cute merch stores here. There's the Rosemary Beach store, like right in the semicircle of Paradise and um, Piscato. But the Alice Beach store literally got torn down in front of my eyes and it's brand new. My dad said that they're just gonna try to put more condos there or something, which honestly makes sense because like the store was one story. I know she wants to get her fiance a golf hat because he's taking his boys next weekend to Kiowa Island in South Carolina. And it's like a really nice golf course. Ryan's had it on his bucket list for so long. So he's so excited about it. Um, and it'll be nice that I'm gone this weekend and then I'll be home alone next weekend because then I get to kind of chill and have my alone time after a lot of, you know, socializing this weekend. But honestly, the weekend was so, so fun. Yesterday, we were supposed to go to a yoga class. That was supposed to be at 1230. A lot of the girls were not feeling too great yesterday. But if you guys are planning a bachelorette here, definitely check out um, Studio 30A is where they were going to take us. And it's super, super cute inside. Yum. I gotta try. Cheers. Cheers. Say hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anita is my um aunt, but we like to say she's my cousin. To avoid confusion. <laughs> I got my little ham and cheese croissant from Holiday. Can't leave here without it. I'm gonna munch on it, but we are going to the Rosemary Beach Farmer's Market right now. What was your favorite part of this weekend? Um, everything. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> it was honestly such a perfect weekend. The house. The house the was house. incredible. Stunning. Like, literally the prettiest thing I've ever been in. The boat was really fun, the boat. too. Yeah. We honestly, did, like, AJ's was really fun. AJ's, I don't really remember AJ's. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> honestly, that's good. You're supposed to feel shitty for one day on your bachelorette. Um, all of my friends from work were there, too. Oh, yeah. Because literally my, um... My like, friend from work, her wedding was here this weekend. Mm -hmm. So we just had a fucking crew. And that was like AJ. their after party, yeah. It was there. so much fun. <laughs>
Again, don't remember my <laughs> too. It was great. Yes. We're gonna see if we can find Claire her blueberries, her Florida blueberries. I need my Florida blueberries. Farmers market, so let's see. Unfortunately, Claire did not find her blueberries. I don't think they were in season because there was just a bunch of veggies, but I went back over to my dad's house. We had a beach day. He was fishing and didn't catch anything. And then we had one last dinner at this Indian restaurant. And let me tell you, it hit the spot. 